welcome back the next api we are going to talk about is called create action and as the name implies it is used for creating what redux actions so let's go back to the official documentation and take a look at what it has for us so if you click on the create action we have this so it's a helper function for defining redux action typer and type and creator all right so as you can see the implementation here so let's go back to code and then we implement that all right so in redux toolkit we call something slice the slice combines both the action and reduce and then we reduce it together so any application that you are creating we have individual slice so i regard slice as the the reduces for each of your states you want to handle right so inside this um redux folder let's create one file folder called slices so assuming we have we are developing a block application right we have user slice then you may have what maybe post slices and other stuff so slices are what the reduces taken that way so inside the slices let's create one file called counter slice counter slices so this file contains both our action and then our reduces all right so let's see how to create an action in um redux toolkit all right so first thing is let's require let's import the create action from from Redux toolkit and let's bring in as that create action all right so and then all what you need to create an action is what first you create an instance of the action so it's like this because this file we can export multiple functions here we export default this one export const right because you can export multiple functions from this file so we export const and the name of your um, action is equal to that and then you bring in what create action and then create action takes one parameter which will your payload sorry your action type so whatever you pass in here becomes your action type so in our case let's call this one increment slash counter and you know that this is from counter up our counter reducer so you can pass any string here and this represents your action type and it must be unique right it must be unique so now we have our action being what created right so all what we need is what export this function and it has been exported and this all what you you need to create what your action right so in the next video we are going to continue from here create our reducer and see how we can use this action